Milwaukee pitcher. And Tony Bellinger. Pittsburgh starts with the ball in the middle. It's Adam Topolsky on the logo. Going back to Paul Toomey to his own red line. Toomey into the St. Louis end. No three-line violation. That's just avoided. It goes all the way back to Slobo. And with the short toss, it's Tony Bellinger at his own defensive third. Bellinger scampers into the midfield area for Jeff Cacciatore in front of the Pittsburgh bench. Cacciatore back to Tony B. Left wing, Steve Petcher into the attacking third, into the middle. Top of the semicircle, Cacciatore has it stripped clean by George Tiger. Sobieski has the loose ball in the corner. He's out of the goal mouth. Loose ball in front, Tiger clears. Cacciatore gets to it at the Pittsburgh red line. Tiger steals it back from Catch. Tiger at the St. Louis red. Goes to Turlecki on the left side. Turlecki shot off the backboards, headed out of trouble by Tim Walters. And Walters was shoved by George Tiger. I think so. If they get off to a good start here and have some good fortune come their way, they deserve every bit of it here. One of these balls are going to go in and get them off to a good start. Don Ebert, right side of the box. Tony Glavin, long shot, punched out by Chris Sobieski. It goes into the middle for George Tiger. He goes over to Joe Maroney, streaking up the right side. Two on one for Pittsburgh. Adam Topolsky, long shot, wide. Rebound to Lecky, just far wide of the far post by about a foot. Had Slobo fooled. Goes into the corner. Maroney collects. Goes back to the red line to Tom McDonald. McDonald, semicircle. Stan Jerlecki, he's taken away by Tony Bellinger. And it's back to Steve Petcher over to John Stremlow in front of the St. Louis bench. Cross ring pass, Steve Petcher in front of the penalty box. Right wing, Ty Keo. Keo on the right touch line in the attacking end. Keo looks across the floor, goes into the corner to Tony Glavin. Glavin on the red dot, back to Keo on right wing. Keo about 40 feet away, right side of the semicircle. Stremlow, one touch, Glavin. Glavin in the middle, tries to drop it off. Left wing, Tony Glavin, shot saved. Sobieski. Clavin with a good opportunity on the turnaround. It's Joe Maroney. Maroney out of the University of Connecticut, where his father's the head coach. He loses. McCluskey gets it at midfield to the St. Louis red line. In for Paul Child. That was stolen away by Ty Keo. Loose ball back to Dave McKenzie on the left side. Marcio Leite. Leite in the middle for Pat McCluskey. McCluskey into the corner. Paul Child goes back to the St. Louis red line. He's got it on his right foot. On left wing, Pat McCluskey about 45 feet away just in front of the St. Louis players' bench. McKenzie put it in the corner for Marcio Leite. Slobo beat him to it, put it in front for Ty Keo. Keo one touches to the red line for Tony Glavin. Glavin does the same thing, back to Sam Bick. Keo in the middle on the logo, Tony Glavin. He turns it around and starts up the floor for the St. Louis Steamers. John Stremlau can't catch up with a long pass from the pocket rocket. Makes a steal, though, gets it back. It's on the touch line. He's two-timed by McDonald and Leite, and McDonald comes up with a loose stuff. Back to the red line, Glavin in front from Keo. Glavin lays it off, Rose, long shot, blocked in front by Dave McKenzie. Good idea by Tony, giving it off to Carl Rose. McCluskey out of his own end for Child. Bick was there to steal at the St. Louis red line. Ty Keo falls down at midfield, Marcio Leite comes up with a loose ball. Leite at the St. Louis red line on the right touch line. Leite oversteps, goes with his left foot in the middle, left side of the semicircle, Marcio Leite looking in front for somebody, nobody, th nobody there right now for the Pittsburgh Spirit, goes back to Tom McDonald. McDonald for Child, cleared by Glavin, and we've got a call. McKenzie took it off the free kick. It was blocked by the St. Louis Steamers wall. Goes back to the keeper. He goes up to Leite at the St. Louis red line. Right wing, Paul Child. He's double teamed. Don Ebert makes the steal. So he came over and helped out Carl Rose. Ebert is held up by Child. Carl Rose in the midfield area. Sam Bick for Don Ebert at the Pittsburgh red line. Goes back to Ty Keo at his own red. Cross the logo. Keo with the right foot. He's pulled down by Paul Child. Rose keeps it in play for the Steamers. Sam Bick back to Ty Keo. Left side, Carl Rose. Rose on the left touch line in the attacking end. Rose moves to the middle. Has it tackled away. Clean tackle by Marcio Leite. And it's picked up by Pat McCluskey. He turns it around to Paul Child inside the St. Louis end. Child to the left foot. Blocked by Sam Bick. Child gets it back. Shot in front. Keo clears. Another shot by Toomey. Back to the top of the box. Just wide on the shot by Leite. Walters collects the carom. Looks up the floor. Nobody there. Just clears it out to midfield for Don Ebert. Ebert is held up. They're two games out. Cleveland with a record of 12-1. and one. That's going to be a great game. We'll keep you abreast of that. Long free kick for the Steamers. Headed out of the area by Chris Sobieski. An obstruction call. It is a I misplay. They tried to play the ball to Rose, who was going to center the ball with the player coming across. It didn't make connection, but a good idea. Joe Maroney made this deal. He came up the floor, gave it away. Topolsky has it at the red line. Long shot over the glass. Out of play. Off the mark. That they had in the first five minutes, even though they've been uh, running, running very well. Slobo on the restart passes the ball to Tony Bellinger. He's got it to the midfield line. Inside the attacking third, the pocket rocket on the left touch. 
He runs into the corner, gives the ball off to John Stremlau. Stremmer brought, drops it back for Tony Bellinger. Tackled away there by Joe Maroney. Across by Stremlau. Goes astray. Bellinger collects it. He comes up with the loose ball. Maroney in the middle. Takes it away and goes over to Adam Topolsky inside his own box. Topolsky for Stan Terlecki. Two on two. Terlecki on right wing against Petcher. Left foot. Shot kicked out by Slobo. Goes back to Tom McDonald. Right side of the box for Paul Child. And we get an obstruction call against Paul Child. Slobo. To Tony Glavin at the penalty box. Right side Steve Petcher at the midfield line. On the logo, it's Tony Glavin giving it back to Steve Petcher. Inside the attacking end, Jeff Cacciatore has it back to Steve Petcher. Into the corner for Tony Glavin. Glavin on the right touch, has it go over his heel. Cacciatore makes his heel right wing. Cat shot just wide through the goal mount. Stramlau comes over on the left touch. Wanted to go into the middle for Glavin. It was knocked away by Maroney, and he's got it. Joe Maroney to his own red line for Adam Topolsky. Topolsky, three on two Pittsburgh. Down the middle. Left wing, Stan Terlecki. Terlecki looks for room in the middle. No room there as he's two-timed by Bellinger and Cacciatore. Goes back out to midfield to Marcio Leite. First year in the MISL. Played for the Brazilian national side. Terlecki from Leite. Went back to Leite on the right wing. It was stolen by Tony Glavin. Glavin's got it from Petra at midfield. Glavin loses. Petra keeps up with it. Petra at the red line. Looking back for the pocket rocket. Goes into the left corner. Glavin's beaten to it by Dave McKenzie. McKenzie, a former Hartford Hellion, holds on on the right touch line. Crosses through the goal mouth. Goes over on the left side for Tom McDonald. He plays it off the boards. It's stolen by Steve Petcher. Put back into the attacking third. But McDonald runs it down. Steamer's very aware of uh, marking up quickly. They're making some runs from the back. And when they do, they're, they're being picked up by their own man. We've not had a situation this evening where the Steamers have been on a two-on-one or three-on-two situation against them, which is very indicative of good defensive work. Keogh clears it out of the corner, wraps it around the boards. It's back to the St. Louis red line. Dave McKenzie has it. Over to Tom McDonald, the cross on the right side for Pat McCluskey into the corner. Marcio Leite, he's left undetended, goes into the middle for Terlecki. Terlecki spins, shoots, saves, Slobo. Good spin move by Terlecki. McDonald. The defender with him and turned around right, hit it with the right foot. Great save by Slobo on that. I thought that was goal all the way. Steamers are switching fields very, very well and quickly, and they're bringing that defender up from the backside and creating some space there. Don Ebert went into the corner along with Tom McDonald. Ebert was called for a shove, free kick for the Spirit, and Pat McCluskey. McCluskey hits Paul Child at the midfield line with the pass. Child, left wing McCluskey. The cross goes back to Paul Child into the middle, Marcio Leite. He goes to the left foot over to Pat McCluskey, left wing, long shot blocked by Carl Rose. Sam Bick goes after the rebound. He's pushed away by Pat McCluskey midway through the St. Louis red line. And it's a free kick for the steam machine. No score with exactly seven minutes left in the first quarter. Timmy Walters takes over for the steamers on the restart. Walters across in front of the St. Louis players bench for Carl Rose. At the halfway mark, it's Sam Bick. Stopping on a dime as Paul Child flies by. Keogh's got it back over to Sam Bick on left wing just inside the Pittsburgh red. Bick. Into the corner for Tim Walters. Dave McKenzie gets there. It goes back to Ty Keogh at the red line. Keogh engineers the St. Louis offense in the middle. Off to the left side. Sam Bick to Tim Walters in the corner. Walters looks for room to move in the middle. Starts it over. It's Carl Rose on the right touch in front of the Pittsburgh bench. Carl Rose into the corner for Tim Walters once again. Cross in the middle for Sam Bick. Great chance for the Steamers. Bick couldn't maintain. Gets it back. Carl Rose right wing. Long shot. Blocked by McCluskey, it goes off McCluskey into the middle for Lane. Off the head of Redmond Lane, he's got to go back to the red line to get it to Sam Vick. Right side, Carl Rose, he's got the ball. Into the corner for the pocket rocket. Glavin in front lane, ball through the goal mouth, cleared by Toomey. Toomey gets it out to Adam Topolsky. He goes up the left touch line for Stan Terlecki at the midfield line. Stolen away by Redmond Lane and Jeff Cacciatore back inside the St. Louis third. George Tiger puts it in the middle for Stan Terlecki. He's beaten on the 50-50 ball by Sam Vick. Bick gets it back to his keeper. Another good example of this man-to-man -man marking and really staying with them. Uh, Ebert went, went out, uh, was replaced. His man had him beat. The man who replaced him, he was picked up by another defender, and they paired it is again. Lane had a chance in front. It was blocked by Adam Topolsky at the top of the box. Topolsky goes into the midfield area. Nifty move by Petcher to take it away from Tiger. Petcher takes it into the corner on his own. Off the backboards in front for Glavin. Kicked away by Paul Toomey at the right side of the box. Toomey out to Joe Maroney. He rushes into the middle. Maroney into the St. Louis end. Cleared away by Slobos. He got to the ball in the corner. Out for Jeff Cacciatore. He's knocked down by Maroney. 
made the call. He was at the midfield line. It's a free kick. Jarlecki in the corner against Bellinger. Bellinger comes away over to Redmond Lane. And we get a call against Stan Jarlecki. The free kick to Steve Petcher at the red line. It's Tony Bellinger on the left touch. Bellinger into the middle for Don Ebert. Ebert in front of the Pittsburgh bench. Leaves it off for Steve Petcher. Petch drops on the left side for Tony Bellinger. Bellinger back to Petcher on right wing inside the attacking zone. Long shot off the backboards. Ebert couldn't get the rebound. It's back to the red line for Bellinger on the left side. Bellinger into the corner. Jeff Cacciatore off the backboards through the middle. Ebert puts it over the glass on the Three. rebound. Jerlecki in the middle, left side, Nathan Sachs. Sachs is beaten to the ball by Bellinger. Bellinger clears the length of the floor. It goes back to Sobieski. Nathan Sachs making his first appearance of the evening. Sachs last year scored four goals in the second half against the St. Louis Steamers. Shot goal! Nathan Sachs! They've got to just keep it up or they're going to find themselves back 2-0 very quickly. St. Louis still killing off the power play. Bick into the corner. Sobieski comes out, puts it over the glass. He goes back to his own red line to Carl Rose. Carl kicks it in front of the Pittsburgh bench. He goes over the glass into the crowd and a free kick coming up to the spin. Been out there, I guess, a good uh, minute and a half now. So working very, very hard. Uh, this team from Pittsburgh is, is patient. And uh, they move the ball around well, playing one or two touch. They're going to make sure they get the good shot off here. Paul Child on left wing, crosses, Sam Bick clears, it's out of play, free kick. Rest, right? Jeff Cacciatore makes a steal and clears it down the floor. Sobieski out, the right side of his area, comes up to his own red line, gives it off to Adam Topolski. Topolski, a Polish national player in the first division there for the last few years, first year in the MISL. Nathan Sachs, left wing, back to his keeper at the midfield line, Sobieski, 53 seconds. Left on the penalty to Steve Petcher for unsportsmanlike conduct. The Spirit already with a power play goal. I'll tell you, Bellinger and Cacciatore are really working hard out there in front, really forcing the play. Rose has come out to help him out. Marcio Leite tried go. to go around Carl Rose, and Carl picked his pocket. Clears at the length of the floor with help from Jeff Cacciatore, and Sachs goes back to get it from his keeper, Sobieski. Right wing, Napolski, inside the St. Louis end. Back to the midfield line for Sobieski. 20 seconds left on the Pittsburgh man advantage. Sacks at the St. Louis red. Right wing cross. Terlecki. Long shot. Wide. Child had a chance to tip it in. He missed it. And the rebound came out to Nathan. I think we had the better of the play. I think we had uh, better shot advantages. We go again. That 12 seconds very, very important right now. Ty Keogh's got it. Six seconds left on the Pittsburgh man advantage. Keogh on the logo for Tim Walters. Walters into the attacking third. Walters to the right side of the semicircle. Back to Larry Hulser. Petcher's back on. Gets it on the left touch line. Still in the attacking end. Petcher into the left corner. Pulled down. Keo takes a free kick. Gets it back from Petcher on left wing. It goes off the knee of Tom McDonald. Keo gets it back to Larry Hulser in the middle. Hulser to the right foot. Shot. Save. Sobieski is shot. Sobieski's got it. Good pass by Keo. And Timmy Walters just couldn't make connections. Dave McKenzie in front of his own box. Sends it out of the wing for Joe Maroney. One touch, he's back to McKenzie. Chris Sobieski's got it on the left wing for Tom McDonald. Still inside his own defensive third. Sobieski in the middle from McDonald. Off the sideboards for George Tiger in front of the penalty box. Tiger, cross at midfield for McDonald. McDonald inside the St. Louis end. On the left wing, goes into the corner, plays it off the backboards. Hulser, chests it away. Goes into the middle. Hulser keeps up with it and takes over. Larry Hulser. Knocked off the ball by Joe Maroney. Uh -huh. Ebers got it. Left side of the area. In the midfield area, it's Hulser. Goes over the glass into the crowd off like conduct. Sobieski on the free kick from Toomey. Comes outside of the area with the ball. He's picked up by Don Ebert. Stolen by Ebert in front of the Pittsburgh bench. Over to Tim Walters. Walters loses. Maroney comes away at the red line. Maroney. Up the left touch into the corner against Carl Rose. He's pushed at a free kick in front for Terlecki. Terlecki to the right foot, blocked in front by Walters. Into the corner, Maroney's got it. On the touch, back to the midfield line for Adam Topolski. Topolski looks up at the clock, holds onto the ball, goes back to his keeper, Chris Sobieski. Sobieski to the penalty box for Joe Maroney. Maroney with the cross ring pass in front of the Pittsburgh bench for Paul Toomey. 
Toomey to the red line. It's George Tiger. He tried and the to man all over the floor looking for that bad pass to create a mistake. George Tiger left on the clock in the first. Toomey at midfield, and that will do it for the first quarter at the Checker Dome. Sorry, Tony Bellinger and Steve Petcher. Tremlow's got it in front of his own bench, pulls it away from Paul Child, comes into the attacking third for Jeff Cacciatore. Went for Steve Petcher at the red line, got away from Petch, back to his own red line. Petcher holding on to the ball, turns it around and stops right at the St. Louis red. Into the corner for Tony Glavin against Tom McDonald. McDonald fronts Glavin, comes up with it, pulls it away, wants to go back to his keeper, Bellinger, put it off the boards in front, and Sobieski grabbed it before Tony Bellinger could get in the area. Sobieski drops it off for Tom McDonald, gets it back for McDonald. Puts it up to the St. Louis red line. Steve Petcher is there. Stealing it away from Paul Child. Petcher, the midfield line. In front of the penalty box for John Stremlau. Stremmer passes into the middle for the pocket rocket. Tony Glavin is muscled out of the play. Glavin gets it back. Shot saved. Sobieski. Goal, oh, yeah. Glavin. Glavin got the rebound back on the goal line and put it in. Sobieski with the... Glavin, his 10th goal of the year at 55 seconds. Bellinger. Bling. He goes around Glavin, shot, blocked away by Petra on a neat sliding tackle. Glavin into the middle. He's knocked off the ball. Maroney had it. He put it in front. Bellinger kicks it away. Back to the Pittsburgh red. Topolsky. Back to Chris Sobieski. He can't touch it with his hands. It was outside of the red line. Sobieski in front of the St. Louis bench. Off the boards for Adam Topolsky. Topolsky inside the St. Louis third. Bellinger puts it back to the red line. Cherlecki gets to it over to Maroney. Maroney has to go over his head. Petcher's got it off his chest. Petcher into the midfield area. Three on two St. Louis. Petcher into the attacking third on right wing. Off the backboards in front. Saves Sobieski taking it away from Glavin. He tried to use the boards and get a ricochet off to Stremlau coming up on the far side. Paul Toomey ball hockey knocking down Tony Bellinger. Went back to Ty Keogh. Keogh quickly to Steve Petcher at the Pittsburgh Red. Petcher inside the attacking third. Long shot in front. Cleared. Stremlow, another shot saved. Another shot, Petcher. And Sobieski corrals the rebound. A good try as Sobieski free kick. The equalizer for St. Louis. Glavin unassisted, making the score 1-1 one one at 55 seconds of the second quarter. Sachs putting the spirit on top at 10.56 of the first quarter. Free kick headed to Bellinger. Bellinger's got it back from Streblau. Bellinger in the middle. Bellinger to the right foot. Blocked by Toomey. It goes over to George Tiger at the semicircle. Tiger on the right side to Terlecki. Terlecki at midfield. Comes into the St. Louis end. Past the red line. Into the corner for Tiger. Tiger against Tremlau. And Tremlau kicks it back to Slobo Ilyevsky. Slobo rolls it on the right side. Over to Ty Keo At his own red line. Goes through the middle. Maneuvers his way up the floor. Puts it in the corner. For Sam Vick. Sam off the backboards in front. Shot saved. Slobieski calls St. Louis. Don Ebert on the rebound. Number 17, Sammy Vick. Ebert's got it in the corner for Vick. Slobieski out. Clears it. Over to Dave McKenzie on the touch. Stolen away by Ebert. Ebert back in front. Loose ball, cleared by McCluskey. Up to the halfway mark, Carl Rose. Chest the ball, puts it down to his right foot through the middle for Sam Vick. Sam is pulled down. Power play, McDonald in the box, two minutes for tripping. In the middle, it's John Stremlau. On right wing, Tim Walters shot in the middle. Ebert couldn't get to it. He had to go off the top of his right foot. It's on the left touch line, goes off of Dale Russell over the glass into the crowd, and a free kick for Paul Child. He goes to Stan Cherlecki. Terlecki marked up well at the red line. Goes into the middle for Child off the foot of Dale Russell. Child comes up the floor on the left side of the St. Louis Red. He's knocked off the ball momentarily. Goes into the corner for Terlecki. Back in front for Child. That just failed to click. Or Child would have been all alone in on Slobo. Child loses to Ebert. Three on two St. Louis. Ebert down the lane. Through the middle. To the left side. Russell shot. Goes through the goal mouth after it was wide off the post. Ebert couldn't get to the rebound. That ball was inches away from Donny Ebert's right foot on that rebound. Terlecki turns it around, goes to the St. Louis Red. He's triple teamed by Walters, Russell, Stremlau, and Rose comes up with it. Back over to John Stremlau. Stremlau on the logo to the Pittsburgh Red. 58 seconds left in the penalty to Tom McDonald. The steamer power play looking effective right now. Stremlau in the middle for Carl Rose. He drops it off, goes into the corner. Toomey beats Walters to it. 
Knocks down Tim Walters. No call. Terlecki's got it at his own red line. Stan Terlecki against John Stremlau. Holds onto the ball at the midfield line. Drops it off for Paul Toomey. Toomey with a dash into the middle. Loses it at the red line. Ebert comes up in the midfield area and heads it over to Dale Russell. Russell at the Pittsburgh red. Cross to Stremlau. Through the middle for Rose. Left wing. Russell. Long shot and a save by Sobieski. Good combination of passes there led to that good shot by Russell. Walters at the red line. Put it back to midfield for Russell. On the left wing, Carl Rose. Carl Rose puts it in front. Cleared away by Toomey. Back into the corner, Carl Rose. Carl pulls it back to the point on the left side. Dale Russell. Russell on the right wing for Tim Walters. The penalty to Pittsburgh's Tom McDonald has expired. Walters for Rose. Right wing, Stramlau in front for Ebert. Stolen by McKenzie. Stramlau keeps it alive. Ebert goes into the corner after it. It's cleared, though, by Dave McKenzie for Stan Terlecki. Up to the streaking Tom McDonald. Slobo's out. Tackles away. Open net. McDonald's got it back in front. Open goal. Terlecki oh. misses the open net. Terlecki missed the open net. It came out to the red line. Paul Toomey knocked down John Stramlau. A bit too perfect That's with right. that one. Well, we need a break like that. We've had a lot of those for us in the last few ball games, so we need something like that. I'm glad you said that, Bob Brunette, because I've been... Everybody misses. Everybody strikes out. Everybody misses that easy goal once in a while. He's got his head up now. You can bet he's going to be dangerous next time he comes down. And Stancher, like he's jungle, so he knows how to find the back he of the sure cage. Does. Catcher takes a free kick in the middle for Jeff Cacciatore. Catch puts it into the corner. Bellinger's got the carom. Shot over the crossbar by about two feet. Glavin keeps it alive from Cacciatore. Glavin played off the ball by McKenzie. Gets it back to Cacciatore. Left touch line, Jeff Cacciatore works through the middle. It goes back to the red line, Steve Petcher. Petcher into the corner for the pocket rocket. Off the backboards, McKenzie keeps it away from Glavin. He throws it away to Cacciatore, top of the semicircle. Catch goes around George Tiger into the corner. Cacciatore still with the ball. Catch in front. Catch on the box, and Sobieski comes out to take it away from Jeff Cacciatore. Up to the halfway line, Cacciatore heads it up to Tony Glavin on the left touch. Glavin gets it back off the knees of McKenzie. Petcher shot, saves Sobieski, and Lane was on the doorstep. A good pass by Glavin going right through right the legs through. of Cacciatore. Cacciatore just, he heard the call of Levy to let it go right through his legs, and Petcher one time right at the keeper. Hit a good ball. Russell left point, shot off the back glass. Carl Rose has it right side of the semicircle and starts the offensive series over for the St. Louis Steamers. Stremmer in the middle from Carl Rose. To Don Ebert, left wing, Dale Russell. Off the backboards in front, Toomey clears. Russell keeps it in, loses to Child. Child goes to McCluskey and gets it back from McCluskey. Child at his own red line, has Terlecki moving into the St. Louis end. McCluskey at the midfield line, force two. John Stremlau has it from Slobo Ilyevsky, a minute 25, left of the St. Louis man advantage. Russell, long shot wide, rebound over to Walters on right wing, into the middle, Stremlau, into the corner, Rose. Gets it to Walters, shot, saves Sobieski, it's still on the doorstep. Loose ball batted out, Walters heads it into the area, saves Sobieski. He punched it out of the box. Well, Walters made a good play on that. Kept it alive. Put it back into the goal mouth with his head, and it almost went in. Terlecki in the middle. Tackled away by Dale Russell and Tim Walters. Ebert gets it to the midfield area, three on two St. Louis. Stremlau streaking through the middle. John Stremlau over to Don Ebert, right touch. Saved in front by Paul Toomey as they went one too many passes. Sure Russell took a long shot and a save off the carpet by Sobieski. Johnny Strumlau brought that defender right at him, laid a perfect pass off to his right to Don Ebert. I thought he was going to hit it first time, but he passed back, tried to get the ball back to him, but the defender had caught on and picked the ball up. Paul Toomey was in front to make that play. One too many passes by the steamers. Keo in the middle of the power play. Long shot. Save Sobieski. He punches it straight up into the air. Toomey heads. Terlecki heads back to the red line. Ty Keo's got it for the steamers. 19 seconds left of the St. Louis man advantage. They've got it. Pick up on these opportunities. Stremlau right wing. Stremlau into the corner off the backboards. Gets it back to the red line. Ty Keo. Seven seconds left on the man advantage. Left wing Larry Hulser. Hulser into the middle. Ty Keo. Top of the semicircle, right wing, John Stremlau, first time, pass through the middle, Hulser shot, just wide by about five feet, and the penalty kick, as the ball went over the glass on a St. Louis rebound, Tom McDonald took it, it goes up to Paul Child at the St. Louis red, on the left side, Tom McDonald catches up with it, the pass was behind him, and he goes back to Marcio Leite, Leite on the floor for the first time in the second quarter. Hulser had it momentarily at his own red. McKenzie made the steal. Daryl Duran on the floor for the first time. Gets it at midfield. Duran on right wing. Duran shot. Saves Sobieski. 
Boy, he showed quick speed there. Took that ball, just went right away from the defender. Nathan Sachs loses on the 50-50 to Larry Holster on a swift move by Larry. Back to Ty Keel. Into the attacking third, Sam Beck. The pass was just ahead of Sam and stolen away by Tom McDonald. McDonald at his own red line. Stops, turns, cross-ring pass. It's Marcio Leite in front of the penalty box. Leite to the red line for Paul Child. He won touches. Back to Leite. Right side McDonald. A pretty one-touch pass on the left side for Paul Child. Child in the middle to Leite. Leite goes on the left wing. Nason Sachs in front. Rebound goes out at the top of the box. Daryl Duran clears over to Larry Holser. He sends a through ball up for Redmond Lane. Lane into the middle. Sobieski beats him to it. Clears it to his own bench, and Leite gets to it. Leite inside the attacking third. On right wing against Ty Keo. Leite, right side of the semicircle. Leite has it stripped clean by Redmond Lane. It goes through the legs, goes to Ty Keo. Keo, three on two. Keo into the middle. Three on three now. Keo to the right foot, blocked in front. Ray, Redmond Lane, shot save in front by Nathan Sachs. Goes back to Chris Sobieski. The rebound of the Keo shot went on the left side for Lane. He had a good chance. But two defenders in front of Sobieski made the play, and Nathan Sachs made the clear. Ty Keo took that one defender, went right at him, made him commit himself, then laid the ball off to the left, made a good play out of it. The other defender coming over from the back door really made the, the initial save. George Tiger keeps it alive in front of the St. Louis box. Over to the left side, Cherlecki into the corner. He's marked up well by Sam Vick, can't do a thing with it. Goes back to the midfield line to Paul Toomey. Toomey in front for Joe Maroney. Maroney. Turns, tries to go to the right foot, has to go off his right foot, and Larry Holser takes over. Holser knocked into the boards by Maroney. No call, a foul, and a free kick for the St. Louis teamers. And Maroney knocked Holser into the boards with some good force. Joe Maroney's a big man. That's the second time he did that. He uses that tactic to his advantage. And one thing, he's away from the goal to a point where it's not that dangerous, uh, as long as he's not getting that, that card that puts him in that two-minute area. Dale Russell, right side of the box. Fans, Petra gets it, passes to himself. Shot, goal! Oh, boy! Steve Petra! What a pass he made to himself. Oh, boy. Dale Russell! Time to the goal. Well, that was a big goal. goal Petra from Russell. It's at the St. Louis red line. Adam Topolsky has it over to Joe Maroney on the right wing inside the attacking third. Maroney through the box. Turlecki shot, goal, Stan Turlecki. From Joe Maroney. I have the goal, 11 26. Turlecki from Maroney. Pittsburgh's got it again. Turlecki inside the St. Louis end, cleared over the glass. It would make a great advantage on us. George Tiger takes it on the right touch line, just outside the corner area. It goes through the goal mouth. Cacciatore catches up with it. He loses in the corner, clears it away, and it's up for Tim Walters at his own red line to Don Ebert. Ebert up the left touch. At the Pittsburgh Red, Ebert into the corner. Sobieski beats him to the ball and goes over to Paul Toomey off the boards. Toomey marked up well by Cacciatore. Fans off Cacciatore with an elbow, no call. And the fans next to the St. Louis Steamers bench were upset over that last play by Paul Toomey that went undetected by the officials. I think so. I think they're using their arms out there. Of course, it's a good tactic. They can get away with it, but he just held Cacciatore up. It. Walters heads into the middle for Carl Rose. Carl is beaten to it by Dave McKenzie. McKenzie turns up the floor, goes into the middle for Pat McCluskey. It's blocked away by Ty Keo, and finally, Chris Sobieski has it in the Pittsburgh Nets. Sobieski with the left foot goes to Dave McKenzie. He one touches it at midfield for Tom McDonald. McDonald on the left touch inside the St. Louis end, put it off the plexiglass, it went through the goal area, and it goes over to Carl Rose, past the head of Sam Beck. Carl outside his own red line. Leaves it off for Ty Keo. Keo runs into Carl Rose, maintains possession, goes into the attacking third, but let it get away from his foot. And Dave McKenzie sends it ahead for Paul Child. Good through ball, but stolen away by Slobo. Carl Rose has it from Slobo. Out of the semicircle, Stremlau back to the red line. Ty Keo. Ty Keo passes on the left side to John Stremlau. Stremmer eyes it. Wanted to crank it up. Instead, it's back to Ty Keo. Keo on the right touch line. Sends it over the glass as he tried to play it around. Going to go in at halftime with a 3 2 lead now. Hopefully, you know, that one, one goal lead means an awful lot. Someone would score here, regardless of who it would be, the momentum is just a, a big factor here. The Steamers, as Bob Brunette talked about, need that psychological advantage. Ty Keogh at the midfield line from Sam Vick goes back to his own red to Carl Rose. Carl Rose pushes it up the floor at the red line. The Pearl oversteps it. He's on the left touch. 
Back to Ty Keogh, left point. On the right wing, John Stremlow. Stremmer goes back to the red line, Sam Bick. Sam Bick holds on to it at midfield. Bick on left wing to the unattended Carl Rose. Carl, right wing, Ty Keogh. Inside the offensive end to Redmond Lane in the corner. Back to Ty Keogh. The steamers looking for that opportunity in front. Stremlau left side of the semicircle against Tom McDonald. Stremlau moves around McDonald. Stremlau shot blocked in front by Adam Topolsky. No hand call. Looked like it could have hit his could hand. George Tiger comes away to Topolsky. Topolsky on left wing inside the attacking third. Shot. Saved Slobo. Rebound out. Blocked in front by Vic. The shot by George Tiger and a good chance Excellent for Tiger. Defense. 38 seconds left in the first half. Keo has it at his own red line on a bad pass by the Spirit. Topolsky goes off, holding onto his ankle. McKenzie gets it. He stole it away from Ty Keo. To Stan Trilecki. Left side of the box, Trilecki against Carl Rose. Blocked away by Sam Bick. Helping out Carl Rose. Trilecki, long shot. Goes wide to the far post by about five feet. Rebound out to George Tiger on the right wing. Tiger tried to put it through the legs of Redmond Lane for Stan Trilecki at hit lane. Goes over to Ty Keo. Keo. Clears it the length of the floor with seven seconds left in the first half. Sobieski up to the halfway point to Dave McKenzie. And with two seconds to go, McKenzie lets her rip. It's blocked by Keogh. Dollar discount off the regular ticket prices. And you can call that number the Steamer Sales Office, 781-4030. The Steamer's next home game on the 7th of January. Second half has begun. Steve Petcher's got it. Kicks it into the middle. It goes off the head of Adam Topolsky. Over to Tony Bellinger on the right touch. Bellinger to the attacking third. Goes into the corner against Paul Toomey. Play on, says Cabrician. Bellinger goes down, but kicks it back to Cacciatore. Left side of the semicircle. Ebert shot blocked in front by Joe Maroney. Cacciatore gets the rebound. Back to the red line. Steve Petcher into the middle for Walters. He was fronted by Pat McCluskey. And McCluskey clears it on the right wing in front of the penalty box to Joe Maroney out of the University of Connecticut. Maroney sends it through for McCluskey on the right wing. Inside the St. Louis end, top of the box. Turlecki, three-timed. That was triple teaming by Cacciatore, Bellinger, and Walters. Cacciatore made the steal. Petcher's got it. At the midfield line on the logo, Steve Petcher. Into the corner for Don Ebert. Ebert off the backboards in front, going through the goal mouth. Walters couldn't catch up with it, and Sobieski has it. Sobieski with a long line left right. in the third. The Steamers three, and the Pittsburgh Spirit two. Uh, it's created some bad passes from the people coming from the back. The Steamers come into this game knowing that they can score against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh in the first game of the year allowed 13 goals against the Memphis Americans. Keith Tozier making his first appearance of the night in the right corner against Carl. Puts it in the middle for Paul Child. Slobo punches it out. Free ball. McKenzie shot wide. Tozier on the half volley. Fans. Keogh's got it. Keo sends it out for Sam Bick. Two on one. Bick over to Stremlau on right wing. He's beaten to the ball by Sobieski. Out of the area in front of the goal. Stremlau back to Redmond Lane. Lane at the semicircle. Long shot wide. Stremlau headed it. It was just wide of the near post. And it comes out to Keith Tozier. Sam Bick makes a seal back to Redmond Lane. First time shot. Far post wide by about three feet. Keo keeps it in. He's on left wing on the left touch. Wraps it around the boards. Pulls it back. Keo double teamed by Nathan Sachs. McKenzie. And they steal it away from Ty. Keith Tozer at his own red line. Streaks into the middle. Stops at the logo. Turns it around to Dave McKenzie. McKenzie. At midfield to Nathan Sachs. Sachs stolen away by Ebert. Loose ball over to the penalty box. Picked up by Keith Tozer. Tozer inside the St. Louis red. Slides it back to midfield. Over to Dave McKenzie. McKenzie with a long cross into the corner for Keith Tozer. Keith job. Keogh's got it back at his own red line. Maneuvers his way to the logo. Keogh into the corner. To the left to Sobieski. Redmond Lane in front. The rebound at the top of the box. Headed away by Tom McDonald. Nathan Sachs on the half volley. is kicked by Bellinger. Both players go down. Maroney comes out. Slobo beats him to it at the top of the semicircle on that long pass. Good play by Slobo. Great play by Slobo. Had quite a collision up there between those two players. Both of them going for the ball, though. I think the referee made a good call. Let the ball play on. Left side of the box. Tim Walters couldn't catch up with the pass from Tony Bellinger. And it's over to Dave McKenzie on the right touch. McKenzie to Paul Child. Pretty through pass, Nathan. Sacks shot wide. Sacks fell. Another shot by Paul Child. That was way off the mark. And Don Ebert's got the rebound on the left touch at his own red line. Ebert dashes through the middle. Ebert 
at the Pittsburgh red line. Oversteps the ball to his left foot. Goes into the corner for Cacciatore. McKenzie bats it away. Back to the red line. Carl Rose comes over. Carl Rose back into the offensive end. For Carl Rose to the right foot. Blocked in front by Dave McKenzie. Into the corner. Carl puts it in front for Walters. Walters pops it into the air, and it's grabbed by Chris Sobieski. Quick outlet. Sobieski to Maroney. Maroney is beaten to it by Ebert. Ebert back to his keeper. Slobo threw it into the middle. It was stolen by McCluskey. McCluskey's got it back from Maroney. McCluskey on right wing. Beaten to it. Bellinger makes this deal. Bellinger's got it. Bellinger in front of the penalty box. Holds things up. Sets it back for Tim Walters. And Carl Rose calls out the offensive strategies for the St. Louis Steamers. Over to Tim Walters. Walters at the Pittsburgh Red in the middle. Walters tackled away by George Tiger. Tiger to Maroney. Maroney. Wanted to go around Bellinger. Couldn't do so. Bellinger made the play. It goes back to Slobo in the area. He picks it up and looks up the floor. Dishes it off for Redmond Lane on the right side of the box. Steve Petcher's got it. Front Redmond Lane. Back to Petcher. Stremlau at the red line. Bellinger on the restart had it from Stremlau. On the right wing, his shot was blocked by George Tiger. Goes into the middle for Jeff Cacciatore. Catch, one touch to Stremlau. Stremlau to Bellinger on right wing. Inside catch. Cacciatore saves Sobieski. Back out to Bellinger. Bellinger first time. Blocked in front by McCluskey. The ball goes high into the air. Off of Stan Lecky. Redmond Lane wanted Steve Petcher on the left touch. Paul Toomey made the pilferage. And goes on the left wing to Pat McCluskey at the St. Louis red line. McCluskey a through pass for Tozier on right wing. Off the backboards Tozier in front. Steve Petcher collects a rebound. Steamers three. The Pittsburgh Spirit two. Bick penetrates the attacking third over to Ty Keo. Keo can't make the play, loses to Turlecki. Stan Turlecki dumps it into the corner for Nathan Sachs. He hits it for his time. That way, they're going to come out all right tonight. The Pittsburgh Spirit with not too many chances so far in the third. Keo inside the offensive end. Back to Sam Bick at the red line. Sam takes it away from Turlecki. Carl Rose on the logo. Over to Sam Bick on the left side. Back to Carl Rose on the right side at the red line. Rose in front for Tim Walters. Blocked away by Nathan Sachs. Carl stays with it. Gets it. Plays it off the boards to himself. Into the left corner. Carl Rose keeps it in you front. You talk about a solo. Carl Rose, great. Carl Rose has it off a shot by Jen Stremlau. In front through the goal mount. Nobody there at home for the Steamers. And it's cleared by Dave McKenzie to Stan Turlecki. Back to McKenzie. McKenzie with a cross ring pass on the right touch to Tom McDonald. He goes to Nathan Sachs. Nathan Sachs pretty through to Turlecki and blocked by Sam Bick. Turlecki tried to hit it all in one motion as he received that pass, and Sam Bick was equal to the task. Excellent defense there again. Stan Bick, he covered him all the way, had him goal side, took the ball away from him on the play. John Stremlau loses at the Pittsburgh Red. McDonald goes back to his keeper, and Sobieski one touches it in front of his own bench to Nathan Sachs. Long pass, Dave McKenzie, right wing shot, kicked out by Slobo. Sam Bick has the rebound, passes it to himself off the boards in front of the penalty box. Sam Bick keeps up. Nathan Sachs tried to tackle it away. Bick runs into Ebert. Ebert comes away into the middle. Don Ebert, left side of the semicircle. Holds on, back to the red line. Ty Keo. Keo to Dale Russell. Shot goal! Yeah, yeah. Dale Russell! Russell on the right wing from Ebert. Ten, Ty Keo! Grab the goal, 7 0 3. Russell. Steamers have it back inside the attacking third. Petcher to the left foot. Shot blocked in front by McCluskey. Tozer has a rebound. Tozer for Paul Child. It goes off the foot of Tony Bellinger, and it's a free kick at the halfway mark in front of the penalty box for Paul Child in the spirit. It's put back into play in a big hurry over to Keith Tozer. On the left side, Paul Toomey in front of the St. Louis bench. Toomey to the St. Louis red against Dale Russell. Puts it around on the boards, keeps it in front. It goes to Paul Child. Child is blocked away by Bellinger. Ball goes out to the red line to Pat McCluskey. McCluskey shields it away from Tony Water. It's the Steamers for the Pittsburgh Spirit 2. We'll take a break. This is St. Louis Steamers Indoor Soccer.
With six minutes and 38 seconds left in the third quarter, it's been all the St. Louis Steamers. They're applying the pressure once again. Petcher in front, blocked away by Paul Toomey. Out to the red line, Don Ebert goes after the loose stuff. To Tony Bellinger at the halfway mark. He goes across the rink to Steve Petcher. Petcher has it at the Pittsburgh red line. Nobody picks up Petcher. He moves very slowly into the attacking third. It goes off the head of Paul Toomey over the glass. Head of Body. There's a shot. Walter there scores is. off the restart. Tim Walters off the restart. Redmond Lane put it in front. Ty Keogh put it into the corner for Lane and Tim Walters. His first goal. Walter! Assisted by number 19, Redmond Lane. And the goal, 8.50. Walter, his first from Lane. Timmy Walters with his first goal as a member of the St. Louis Steamers. Tim Walters, for all you do, this butts for you. Dale Russell's got it back into the Pittsburgh end to Ty Keogh. Keogh on the right wing against Nathan Sachs. Goes to the right foot, long shot just wide of the far post. He had Sobieski beaten, but it was wide by about three feet. Vick at the red line with the rebound. He knocked Joe Maroney off the ball. Little muscle by Sam Vick, goes a long way. Carl Rose moves for the middle. Carl Rose, top of the box, shot wide. Dale Russell couldn't get to the rebound. It's out to the red line for Stan Cherlecki. On the turnaround, Cherlecki passed to the halfway mark of the St. Louis red line. Cherlecki through the middle. Carl Rose came back to help out, made the steal. Ty Keogh's got it up to Dale Russell. So good. The steamer is five, and the Pittsburgh spirit two. And as Keogh tried to clear it. Starting to pay off. I'll tell you, Pittsburgh looks awfully tired out there right now. And, of course, I don't know if it's an effect from last night's ball game. What I really think, I think it's the team speed that we know the steamers have, and they're really using it this evening. Pittsburgh has not had the ball in the St. Louis end, I'd venture to say, even two minutes no, in this haven't. third quarter. Jerlecki does have it in the St. Louis end on the right side of the restraining arc. Stan Jerlecki is double teamed by Vic and Russell. You have to do that against Stan. He goes over to Joe Maroney in the left corner. Maroney puts it past Ty Keogh off the boards. He's double teamed. It comes in front. Carl Rose kicks it back out. It's at the red line for Paul Toomey. On the right side, Dave McKenzie wraps it around the boards. Slobo picks it up. Looks up the floor for John Stremlau at the red line. Stremmer holds it on his right foot. Looks for some help. Goes over to Dale Russell. Dale was ready to leave the floor. Does so as Ebert comes on and gives it off to Sam Bick. Sam on the logo to the Pittsburgh red line. In the middle for Stremlau. It goes into the corner off the right foot of John Stremlau. Dave McKenzie goes over to pick it up to Paul Toomey. Toomey back to McKenzie. And they one touch it to Chris Sobieski in the Pittsburgh goal. Sobieski, long distribution for Torecki. He plays it off the boards in front of his own bench to Paul Toomey. Toomey outside of the circle at midfield to Dave McKenzie. McKenzie in front of the penalty box to George Tiger. Tiger, one touch is back to McKenzie. McKenzie sends it down for Keith Tozier. Off of Tozier's head, but he had his back to the play. He goes into the corner to join on the floor for the St. Louis Steamers. Along with Don Ebert and Redmond Lane. Back on the red line, it's Tony Bellinger. Bellinger's got it. At midfield, Tony Bellinger motors his way through the middle. Goes to Redmond Lane on the left touch. Back to Larry Holser in front of the penalty box. Holser into the corner for Tony Bellinger. Bellinger against Toomey. Pulls it away from Toomey. Wants to go into the middle. The trip. Uh, in that situation there, we looked like we tried to hit the ball directly into a pack and see if we could get some rebound off of it. It was a, it was a good idea, and we almost caught Cacciatore coming in on the ball. Terry Leckie in front for Tozer. It went onto the knee of Redmond Lane, and he very cool and collected. Puts it back to his keeper. Slobo up for Bellinger. At midfield, Bellinger to Ebert. Inside the attacking end, Larry Holser. Larry Holser on right wing. Holser looks to go into the middle. Holser to the left foot. Into the corner, Don Ebert shot. Blocked by Keith Tozer over the glass. Free kick St. Louis. Thick, long shot. It goes into the opposite corner. Ebert gets to it. Beats Tom McDonald. Ebert, two minutes, morning. Pittsburgh on the power play. Could get back into the game as they trail by three. Sacks into the middle, Jurelecki. Right wing, Dave McKenzie. Out on the perimeter, it's Dan Jurelecki. And the Steamers keeping the spirit away from their cage. Sacks, long shot, saves Slobo. And he prevented the rebound from getting over to Paul Child. Long throw up the floor for Jeff Cacciatore. So takes it off the free kick from Sobieski. Right wing, inside the St. Louis end. Dave McKenzie around the board, saves Slobo at the near post. Slobo up for Sam Beck. Sam streaking up the left touch line. He gets on his bicycle, but so does Stan Cherlecki, and Cherlecki wins that foot race. Cherlecki over to Sachs. Sachs back to Cherlecki. At the St. Louis red line, Stan Cherlecki in the middle. 
He's got it on his right foot. Shot blocked in front by Steve Petcher. And a bullet off the right foot of Stan Terlecki. A good play by Petch. Terlecki to the semicircle. Brings it back on the right wing. McKenzie shot. Goal! Dave McKenzie. And I think it went in off another St. Louis steamer. Minute 24 left in the third. Keo on the restart over to Ebert in front of the Pittsburgh players bench. Back to Ty Keo. Keo at the midfield line. Looks for room to work. Goes over to Larry Hulser. Dave McKenzie, assisted by number 13, Stan Terlecki. Tie him with a goal. Made no call. It's a free kick for the Steamers. It goes back to Larry Holser at his own red line. Holser into the corner. Tim Walters back out to the red off his knee for Don Ebert. Ebes heads to Ty Keogh in front of the St. Louis players bench. Keogh puts it off the head of George Tiger. It goes over to the glass into the crowd. Free kick. Keogh puts it back into play. Left touch line at the red line. Carl Rose. Carl Rose into the attacking third. Over to Ty Keo on right wing. Don Ebert, left side. Goes to the top of the restraining arc. Wanted to leave it off. Ebert, right wing. Shot saved by Sobieski. It goes off his leg. And over the glass into the crowd. A free kick for the Steamers. Cross puts it over the glass on the head. A start in his own goal mouth. Kicks up the St. Louis red line. Carl Rose wanted to go back to his own keeper. Instead, it's Larry Hulser in front of the net. Hulser dashes through the middle. Hulser. With a burst of speed on the right wing, it's Tim Walters on the right touch line. Walters crosses in front, takes a shot with the left foot. It's blocked by the Pittsburgh defense in front. Cleared away by Paul Toomey over to Stan Turlecki. Keogh gets it back from Turlecki. Keogh puts a shot on, saves Sobieski as Ebert deflected it in front. By seven games. I think they realize that, and I, I, I think they're going to go out with the same enthusiasm they had. They may have to change lines a little bit quicker. Maybe that two-minute interval might be too long. And, of course, it's up to the individual player. If he feels tired sooner than he's supposed to be out there. He's got to let the coach know because it's a very simple goal. So they've got to be very, very careful, especially on these quick counters because I'm sure Pittsburgh's going to try and throw that ball down there long once in a while. We're marking up on them so tightly, they're going to have to play long ball on us. Nathan Sachs has it for the Pittsburgh Spirit in front of his own bench. Goes back to his own red line to Dave McKenzie. The long cross on the left side to Tom McDonald. McDonald at the St. Louis zone. McDonald stripped clean by Cacciatore. McDonald Lewis Larry Hulser over to Tony Bellinger in the middle. Jeff Cacciatore penetrates the attacking third. Cacciatore to the left foot. Long shot. Oh, just wide. Missed the post by about a foot. Cacciatore chases it down in the corner against Tom McDonald. McDonald clears out to the red line. Tony Bellinger keeps it in. Bellinger to Cacciatore back to Tony B. Tozer knocks it away from Tony. Cacciatore comes up. The penalty kick on them. Hulser has it off the free kick from Cacciatore into the corner for catch. Tozier back into play by the Pittsburgh Spirit. And we may have a substitution violation. They're discussing that over there. Tozer went out. I don't know who he was replaced by, but now Tozer's coming back on the field. He puts the race guard in. To Tom McDonald into the corner for Paul Child. Child writes out of the box. Stolen away by Redmond Lane. Laying off the boards for Larry Holt. Mark up and getting a two-on-one situation here. I think they've stolen the ball at least seven or eight times, and Pittsburgh hasn't changed any tactic. They're just letting them steal the ball up against the boards. Holser collects a loose pass by Pittsburgh, goes back to his keeper, and gets it back from Slobodievsky in front of the Pittsburgh bench. Larry Holser streaks up the left touch line. Larry Holser into the corner to the left of Sobieski. Tried to put it in front. It was blocked away by Tozer, and Tozer has it. Tozer stolen away by Hulser in front. Ty Keo right wing. Keo long times. Drive. We're just running away from the defenders. We're winning the ball again at midfield. Over 14,000 in attendance at the Checker Dome. Don Ebert collides with Joe Maroney in the midfield area. They hit heads between Stremlau and McCluskey. Off the dead ball restart. Other scores: Golden Bay four, Chicago four in the fourth quarter at Chicago. Phoenix losing to Kansas City four to two with 14 minutes left in that game. And San Diego tied with Wichita, 3-3 three three, with eight minutes left in the third. Pittsburgh's got it in their own end. George Tiger back to Pat McCluskey. McCluskey into the St. Louis end. Slobo out of his box. Comes up to his own red line. Pushes it up the floor for John Stremlow into the midfield area. Sam Vick. Nice footwork by Slobo. Steamers can be patient here now. Work on ball possession. Make sure they, they get the good pass and a good shot. They don't have to be in a hurry. As long as we've got the ball, uh, they can't score. John Stremlow, right side of the box, Tim Walters. He stays with it. Over to Sam Vick at the red line. Sam, right wing. Holds up and goes back to the red line to Carl Rose. Carl Rose. back to Sobieski. Sobieski out to his own red line. 
the goal, 3-29. Tiger from Turlecki. Sam Vick had Turlecki all the way. He slipped, Turlecki broke loose for just a second. Ty Keo sprinted all the way across to try to pick Turlecki up because he's a dangerous player. He spotted that open man and just slipped the ball over there beautifully. Don Ebert holds on to it on the left touch. Just inside the Pittsburgh red, goes on the right wing to Jeff Cacciatore. Cacciatore's shot hits off the back of Dale Russell and cleared. Down the floor for Stan Turlecki. Turlecki on a mini break, but Hulser gets back. Hulser against Turlecki. Turlecki wheels into the middle. Can't do anything against Larry Hulser. Good marking by Larry Hulser as he pokes the ball up to Don Ebert. Ebert over to Hulser. Hulser at the Pittsburgh red line. Let it get away from him. And it's cleared by Keith Tozier. In front of his own bench to George Tiger. Tiger into the middle. Keith Tozier at the St. Louis red line. The steamer's starting to back up a bit. In front to Lecky, Right wing Tiger. Cross rink. Goes over to Dave McKenzie. McKenzie, top of the restraining arc. For George Tiger. Crosses through the middle of the goal mouth. Cleared by Dale Russell. Russell puts it out to the midfield area at the penalty timekeeper's area. It's Tom McDonald. Throws it in Our front. second win right here. We need a goal. We need to get that goal back. Tony Bellinger puts it down into the corner. In front on Ebert. Shot. Oh. Hits the post. Ebert hit the post on a great pass from Russell. Keo in front for Ebert. It goes into the corner. Don shields it away from Dave McKenzie. McKenzie put it off of Ebert's right foot over to Nathan Sachs. Sacks into the middle for Paul Child. It's headed away from Child by Ty Keo. Back into the Spirits defensive end. You notice Joel is starting to throw that ball long into the corners, even in a cross floor, trying to pick up that man streaking there. That's how they got that fourth goal. That's how it started, actually. The ball is loose in the midfield area. Nathan Sachs comes up with it for Pittsburgh. Sachs taken away by Bellinger on a great steal. Tony Bellinger on the reverse. At the midfield line, he's got Ty Keo going through. He hits Keo into the corner. Keo gets his left in regulation. The Steamers holding onto a precarious one-goal margin at five to four. Rose off the Sobieski free kick makes a steal from Tozier. Goes back to Slobo. Slobo plays it off the boards in front of the Pittsburgh bench for Sam Bick. Bick across at the midfield line. Passes to Carl Rose. Carl into the corner for Redmond Lane. Lane over to Walters. Walters wanted to go back. It was put into the corner by McCluskey, and it comes out to Paul Toomey. Toomey, quickly, into the St. Louis end, to Keith Tozier. Into the corner, Carl Rose beats Tozier to it, stops, puts it in front, Cacciatore's there. Toomey gets to it. Toomey, left side of the box, off the glass in front. Sachs hits it first time, fanned on it, and Carl Rose has the rebound off the backboards. Carl loses to Paul Child. Child, at the red line, long shot, Paul Toomey. That was way off the, the penalty, 6-33. To me, two minutes tripping. St. Louis on the man advantage, John Stremlau, right wing. Tim Walters put it in front for Don Ebert. He comes back out to Stremmer. Back on the right touch, Tim Walters, long shot wide through the goal mouth over to Tim Russell or Dale Russell on the left side. Russell in the middle to John Stremlau. Stremmer, top of the box, right wing. Walters, first time, just goes through the goal mouth, and Carl Rose couldn't get to it. Stremlau has it. The Seamers continue to apply pressure. Stremlau shoots, it's blocked in front. By Pat McCluskey and comes out to Paul Child at the red line. Child over to Stan Turlecki. Stolen away in front of the penalty box by Dale Three Russell. Five now. Russell to John Stremlau. Stremlau pulls it back to the red line. Starts it over. Goes to the restraining arc. Long shot. It's wide over to Tim Walters. Tim Walters on right wing on the power play. Into the middle, John Stremlau. Goes to the left wing. Dale Russell, long shot. It's wide head. Ebert saves Sobieski. Sobieski with the long outlet for Child. Child can't maintain possession. Slobo's out. Plays it off the boards to Dale Russell. Dale Russell's at the halfway mark. He goes back to the red line. John Stremlau one touches to Tim Walters. Walters at the Pittsburgh red line. Walters into the middle on the man advantage for John Stremlau. Stremlau left wing Dale Russell. First time shot. Saves Sobieski. Rebound over to Russell. He's at the restraining arc. Back to Stremlau. They set up the offensive attack with 37 seconds left in the man advantage. Stremlau right wing Walters. First time shot. Blocked in front by McCluskey. Headed away out of trouble. By Paul Child over to Stan Turlecki. Turlecki has it stolen away by Tim Walters. The Steamers with a ton of pressure but just can't find the back of the cage. Russell at the red line for Carl Rose. Russell into the corner for Don Ebert. Ebert heads it back on the wing for Tim Walters. Walters into the middle. John Stremlau about 40 feet away on the perimeter. Stremlau into the middle. Stremlau to the left foot. Back to Russell. Russell goes to the left wing. Shot off the backboards in front. Stremlau saves Sobieski. Great shots. Russell hit the ball so hard he almost took the keeper with him into the net. 
Toomey's got it at the St. Louis red line as he came out of the penalty box. Wraps it around, puts it in front. Bellinger clears into the corner with a head. Toomey's got it back as he shields it away from Stremlau. In front, Russell clears to the red line. McCluskey, chest there. Goes into the right corner for Stan Chirilecki. Pittsburgh's got it. Chirilecki, shot, save Slobo. Another shot, goal, Pittsburgh. George, yes. George Tiger, assisted by number 13, Stan Chirilecki. Time of the goal, 8.56. Tiger from Chirilecki. Pittsburgh's got it back in front. Chirilecki blocked away by Keown. Pittsburgh on the attack once again in the St. Louis end. Mickey Cave makes his first appearance, goes after it, but Larry Hulser gets there first and goes over to Slobo. Slobo dishes it off on the left side to Ty Keough, up the left touch line in front of the Pittsburgh bench. Keough holds on to it as he approaches the logo. Keough into the corner for Larry Hulser. It's a wall of Cave, Turlecki, and Tiger. Keough plays it back to the point. Bellinger's shot blocked in front by Tiger. Headed into the middle. Duran has it from Keo. Daryl Duran into the corner, plays it off the boards. Mickey Cave clears. High into the air. Finally comes down to Bellinger over to Petra in front of the St. Louis bench. Steve Betcher on the floor for the first time tonight. Into the corner. Redmond Lane's knocked down. Loose ball in front. Bellinger shot. Oh! The post! Petcher beaten to the rebound by George Tiger, who clears it down to the St. Louis Red. Bellinger hit the post. Goes into the corner for Daryl Duran. Sobieski's out. Sobieski's got it. Puts it to his red line to Mickey Cave. Boy, Daryl Duran showed the great moves out there. He had a good shot on goal. Stan Jurelecki inside the St. Louis offensive end. Stolen away by Daryl Duran. Duran put it over to Ty Keough, and Keough sends Redmond Lane up the floor. Redmond Lane at the Pittsburgh red line, one on four. Tim Walters comes on to help out, takes it over from Redmond Lane. Tim Walters into the corner for Ty Keough. Walters gets it back, shot saved. Lane shot back. And score. Tom McDonald on the dead ball. Bick in front for Walters. Back to Sam Bick. Bick with the chest into the corner. Spins around in front. Walters. Oh! Tim Walters from Sam Bick. His second goal of the night. Well, you talk about anticipation. Walters gave Bick the pass. Of the evening. Second of the year. Scored by number 13. Tim Walters. Penalty coming down. Walters from Bick. The Steamers on the man advantage on the right wing. Tim Walters back out to the red line. John Stremlau in the middle. Left wing. Dale Russell first time. Shot blocked in front by McKenzie. Walters has it back. Wants to go to John Stremlau. Does so. Stremlau moves through the middle over to Dale Russell. Russell cross rink to Rose. Rose on right wing. Almost out to the red line. Finally goes to the red line to John Stremlau. Stremlau in the middle. Stremlau has ideas. Goes on the left wing to Russell. He didn't expect it. Gets it now into the middle for Carl Rose. Cleared by Paul Toomey. But it doesn't get out of the attack. Ian Andis, Tremlau keeps it in. Over to Walters. Right wing Walters. Long shot in front. Cleared by Child. Back to the red line. Tremlau looking for room to work. Goes to Walters with the pass. He one touches to Stremmer. Stremmer right side of the restraining arc. Tim Walters winds it up. Tim Walters into the corner for Don Ebert. Shot off the backboards in front. Loose ball cleared by Paul Toomey. Out to Stan Tirlecki. Tirlecki one on three. Tremlau gets back along with Don Ebert. He holds onto the ball. Looks to cross through the middle for Dave McKenzie. Goes to McKenzie on right wing. The St. Louis man advantage. Turlecki in front from McKenzie. They're doing a good job of killing off the power play. McKenzie with a long shot. That was 10 feet off the mark. And Ebert has it in his own net. Ebert slows it down for the St. Louis teamers. Starts it up. John Stremlau at midfield with 2.25 left in regulation. 33 seconds. Left in the penalty to Keith Tozer. Dale Russell on the left wing with John Stremlau in the middle. stremmer has got it from Russell. Puts it over. For Don Ebert, Strammer gets it back. First time wide, comes out to Turlecki. And Turlecki sends Paul Child up the floor. Child takes a long shot, saved by Slobo as he got back in a big hurry. Slobo hands it off to Tim Walters. Walters gives it over to John Stremlau on the logo. Stremlau to Russell as the Steamers make a couple of changes. Petcher comes on along with Ty Keo and Tony Bellinger. The penalty to Tozier is over as Petcher holds on to it. Keo on the left side, in front of his own bench. Looks for help, crosses to Don Ebert. Ebert into the attacking third for Cacciatore. Too long, I, I would think they're gonna try and start playing a long ball and overload to one side. Uh, they're gonna have to do something quickly, that time goes fast. Long pass, he board. does so, puts it in front. Forcher Lecky blocked away by Bellinger. Sobieski at the red line, goes back to get it. He was all, with, all the way up to the midfield line. 
Mickey K, Chris Sobieski on a long cross for George Tiger, right wing Tiger, long shot, blocked by Petcher. Out in front, Cave, oh. saves Slobo. Cave on the half volley, cleared down the floor, Sobieski's got it at midfield. Up to the St. Louis red line on right wing, George Tiger. We've got exactly one minute left in regulation. First time Cave, saves Slobo. 